What's going on guys? It's Dave Bow here with Remax located in Langley. Now we're starting a brand new series called the best of in the lower mainland. Look, these are all opinions. These are places I like to go visit. We're going to be posting this series at least once a month and we're going to be covering different food spots, different hangouts and different places to go in the lower mainland. Now today we're starting off with everyone's favorite topic which is pizza. These are my favorite four places to go eat pizza in Langley. So we're going to do Jim's Pizza in Walnut Grove, Andreas Restaurant, which is located in Langley City. Another Langley City favorite is Emilio Fanetti's, and then we're gonna do an Ocean Park in Brookswood. So that covers pretty much the majority of Langley. We're gonna be ordering four pizzas. We're gonna keep it fair. We're doing only pepperoni and cheese. We're gonna compare them. I'm gonna show you guys the different locations. And if you guys are liking this content, you're liking the vlogs, you're liking the food videos, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe. And if I miss the pizza spot or I miss your favorite pizza spot, make sure you guys comment below. Let's get right into it. Jim's Pizza, first pizza we're ordering. Hey, uh, can we order a medium pepperoni pizza? Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that'll be all. Okay, I'll be ready for pizza in about 20 minutes. Okay, awesome. See you soon. I really like Jim's. I feel like it's a very home style pizza. Kind of reminds me of pizza places. When I was growing up in Victoria, there was a lot of places that had similar recipes, similar sort of tomato sauces. The tomato sauce isn't very like tart and tangy. It's kind of a little bit on the sweeter side. You know, they use really good quality cheese. Apparently like they ferment their dough for a couple of days. Everything's fresh. So it's a really good vibe. So we're gonna take you guys around and show you uh, Jim's Pizza shortly. So let's go take a look. All right guys, so we're outside Jim's Pizza. About to go in, go grab this pizza real quick. All right, the famous Jim's Pizza. Take a look at the box. Sealed for freshness. This is the Ocean Park in Brookswood, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. I'll get a medium, uh, just pepperoni and cheese. And is that all for you tonight? That's it. Perfect, then we'll see you in 20, 25 minutes. Okay, bye-bye. Calling Emilio Fanetti's. Hey, uh, can I get a order for pickup, please? Yeah, I'll pay up for you. Uh, can I get a medium pepperoni and cheese pizza? So like a pepperoni pizza or just like a cheese pizza with pepperoni on it? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Like a pepperoni and cheese pizza? Yeah, so did you, sorry. So we have like a pepperoni pizza or you can have like a cheese pizza and you just like add on pepperoni. It's just slightly different. Oh, okay. What's different about it? Yeah, so our pepperoni pizza is like extra pepperoni and then it's finished with Parmesan. So not much different, but. I'll just get like a regular pepperoni and cheese because I, I, I need regular pepperoni and cheese for this, for this order. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. <laughs> Very serious business. All right, so Emilio Finetti's is probably the most different pizza place out of all of them. It's like traditional Sicilian style pizza. It's very thin, very like artisan style. Goes great with a nice bottle of wine. I actually discovered it through their White Rock location many years ago, and then they have the Langley location as well. They are like award-winning. They've won like a international pizza contest or something like that. So they're very different than the other three places. We've ordered Ocean Park. Ocean Park claim to fame is like very robust toppings, like a lot of toppings like nice thick crust. I guess the best comparison is like kind of pizza, you know, you, you make at home on your own when you make your own dough and it rises nice and fluffy. So we got Ocean Park and we're about to call Andreas, which I'll tell you guys about in a minute. Ocean Park is right there. We're pulling up in this small little mini plaza, which is like situated in a residential neighborhood. So very old school mom and pop type of feel, which everyone loves. So I'm gonna go inside and pick up this pizza. I got my wallet on me? Yes, I do. All right, guys, get a load of the box. Ocean Park Pizza, this is one of the classics. I um, actually just talked to the lady inside. She was super amped that we we're shooting a video and featuring her as one of the top four. This place actually has like a dining sector and they have like a little party room on the side too. So if you're in the neighborhood and you wanna actually sit down and eat your pizza, old school, family style, this is a spot to check out in Brookswood. And like I said, they got different locations so you can pop up to all the different ones. So we got two more pizzas to pick up. All right, so we're calling Andrea's Pizza. Andrea's Langley. 
Hey, can I make an order for pickup, please? Can I get a medium pepperoni and cheese? Okay, and that's everything? That's everything. All right, about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. Thanks, bye. Goodbye. First, we're gonna go to Emilio Finetti's, pick up that pizza, and whip down the road, and then we're gonna show you guys the four different pizzas, compare them, tell you all about them. So Emilio Finetti's, hands down, wins best exterior of the restaurant. Super funky, got a lot of character. They got like the bright yellow outside, they got the pizza toppings, they're cartoon characters. Super, super, super sick location, right on Fraser Highway. If you're coming in from Abbotsford, or going to Surrey, or you're coming in from Surrey, going into Langley, Abbotsford, there's no reason why you shouldn't stop by. While you're waiting for your, for your pizza, well, pre-COVID days, they used to have like video game, like arcade sort of old school style. So it's got that retro 1990s, go rent a movie at Blockbuster, that kind of vibe for all my 80s and 90s babies. So go inside and go grab this pizza. simple box but they personalize every single box that they send out they're always writing like a really nice note every time you order a pizza this one says thank you and enjoy i've seen them write thanks for not being in your kitchen tonight all sorts of fun stuff so we gotta go to andreas then we're gonna taste the pizzas let's go all right guys so i'm outside of andreas just picked up the pizza north vancouver was the original location langley's the second location it's a family-owned business still uh, it's not franchise which is awesome i just spoke to the daughter of the owner uh, and she's managing the langley location so let's go take a look at this pizza we have the pies <laughs> So we got all four pizzas. We're about to start eating. We're about to start reviewing. So we got Jim's first, which is the Walnut Grove. It's the first pizza we picked up. So naturally it's the first one we're gonna eat. Still nice and warm. And I'll tell you one thing, out of all the pizzas, it's the heaviest. Either it's got the heaviest dough, most amount of toppings. Toppings on this one, it's got like the big style pepperoni, you know, like pizza pepperoni like you get from the deli. It's got like a very homemade sort of vibe. So let's go. All right. This pizza is amazing. A lot of places you don't taste the dough. You're definitely tasting the dough. It's got like a sourdough type of vibe. The sauce is a little bit sweeter. Not a heck of a lot of cheese on it, but not in a bad way, in a really good way. So if you're in the Walnut Grove area, you want a nice pizza, some pepperoni and cheese. It's the first one we tried. All right, so now we're switching to Emilio Finetti's. Emilio's is the most different pizza out of all of them. Just on opening up the pizza, I can tell you guys right away, they got the small little pepperoni little cups that have a little oil in them and you know everyone loves those it's got like that whole thin crust sort of artisan vibe it's got some parmesan on it it's super thin crust so this is definitely the lightest pizza out of all of them if you guys can see give it a try okay that is amazing this is an amazing pizza very thin crust you taste the parmesan cheese you taste the regular cheese blend that they're using isn't super heavy, isn't super greasy. The pepperoni is nice and salty. It's got a little spice to it. And of course, because it is thin crust, you're tasting a lot of the toppings, but the dough is definitely a contender. Great tasting dough, great location. This one was very, very busy. We bumped in probably about eight or 10 customers in the 15 minutes we were waiting for our pies. That's Emilio Fanetti's. So now we're gonna try the Ocean Park pizza. Ocean Park was very busy inside. They have a full-fledged dining restaurant. They had a party room they were setting up. A lot of Brooks with locals were in there having a good time. I gotta say, very cheesy pizza. Nice thick layer of cheese. Crust isn't actually super doughy, so not as doughy as Jim's. But now we'll go ahead and take a look. There's a reason why these guys have been in business, man. That pizza's got a very homemade vibe to it. They throw on extra cheese without you paying for the extra cheese. Pepperonis, again, that pizza pepperoni, larger sort of cut, kind of like you got at the deli. The dough wasn't super heavy. Sauce is nice and tangy, so it's a kind of like a, it's a good marriage. The cheese is a little sweet, pepperoni salty. Tomato sauce is tangy, not super doughy. Low key, my favorite right now. Just gonna put it out there. And Andreas, let's check it out. So Andreas, very similar to the Ocean Park. I don't know if these are gonna be very similar. This cheese got a little more color on it, which um, for all my Punjabis out there, Rarke. It's a Rare Hoya pizza. Only Punjabi people understand what I mean by that. All right, let's give it a go. Again, very homemade. 
a lot more pepperoni on this one than I expected in a good way. Cheese has got that little bit of color on it, which is nice. It kind of gives you that extra layer of flavor. I don't know which one's my favorite. These are my four favorite pizza places in Langley. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are in the Langley area, now you don't need to Google who the best pizza places are. I already got it for you. If I miss something or you want me to do a review of a different restaurant or a different food place in the lower mainland, make sure you guys comment and like, subscribe below. My name is Dave Bauer with Remax Little Oak. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm-hmm.